You know, it's kind of interesting the Shack don't have their own, like, unique armor. That they're known for. They just basically have the same iron cloth pants, but that's like... Pretty sure everyone has those. Is that a shack only thing? I mean, it's gotta go with the samurai armor, right? And that's like a United Cities thing. Maybe they just don't believe in armor. That seems kind of like really dumb though. There's no way they don't believe in armor. I mean, they are shirtless. You get so much more toughness XP for having armor on, though. I guess maybe that's why they're kind of, like, losing or whatever. I'm pretty sure they're losing. I thought they were losing in, the, like, the three-way war. Oh, I hope my dudes didn't just get stuck in a rock. Okay, they're fine. <laughs> Thank goodness. There's one of these fucking spiders. Fuck the spiders. Oh, so far, so good. It's been relatively uneventful in the trip. We pretty much just, like, picked the one and only fight that we had. And we're just here now. So this area is kind of like a beak thing shithole, but we're so strong now that... Oh man, this place looks cool as hell. So strong now that it's hard to imagine that we would lose to beak things. I love the reflective services. Uh, Alright, the complex is over here. If we could find some beak thing eggs, that'd be pretty awesome too. Just all things considered. Wait, are we here? Oh no, here it is. Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing any containers. Kind of a ripoff. Wait, hold on. Oh no, that's the tree that I'm... Uh, there should be something here, right? Let's- oh, no wait, this one's got stuff. Very sneaky. To be so badass, there's some robots here to fight. I'm sure we could take them. Oh, lock treasure chest. Please tell me I can pick it. <gasps> yes! It's above 0% chance, which means I can. Wait, I picked it from down there. Telepathic. <gasps> Dude! That's... We hit the mother load. Uh, I guess I'll get Cat to hold on to the, uh... Creators kits. Three engineering researches. That's so good. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, before the session started, I bought some maps. So I'm just gonna read them right now. So the military documents somewhere on the north coast. Map the border zone. There's a way station down there, apparently. Tech Hunter library map. On the left-hand side down here, apparently. Interesting. That's where the... The hivers are. Ancient labs. Ooh, in the middle of the acid zone. Cool. I had regulars that, uh... Or bolts that I wanted to trade a cat. So he's kind of our, uh... Our guy. Our bowman. There's other stuff here, right? Let's see, armor plating. Some batteries. Oh, general storage box is empty. Love to see that. Yeah, there's another super chest. Let's see, my lockpicking's at 25. That's pretty cool. Is there anything else? Oh, there's a metal box. Uh, who's my other lockpicker? Let's see, cat has three. Rain seven. 
We're gonna put a Kang 9. I guess Kang is. I kind of feel like I should just concentrate all the skill on Mr. Torb. Don't think there's any point in having like redundancy. Plus, I could probably just like level up my lock picking for the other dudes and like uh, what do you call it? The lock pick chest, training chest, Mark Five or something. Oh, well, there's a small box over here and it's not locked. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's bogging. Alright, can this guy fucking? I mean, it's it's actually better, I think. That it takes forever, because he gets to just train the lockpicking. But even still. There we go. 29 lockpicking. We've got another ancient science book. A model Mark I ninja blade. Which doesn't even have over one cutting. Ancient science book. A CPU unit. A cartoon spike club. I mean... That might be an upgrade. Yeah, on a... Reigns, I guess. Alright, does anyone have a katana that sucks more than... Let's see. Ruka's got a Mato. Okay, I guess Kang can, uh... Kang can take the crappy ninja blade. <laughs> Whatever. And Mr. Torb can, uh, break into this chest. Uh, there should be, is there a, oh, there's two more metal boxes and they're locked. And there's two more tiny boxes as well. Oh, another whole ass ancient science book. Let's see, a generator core that weighs 20 pounds. I don't know if I necessarily want a generator core. Looks like there's a little pack of beak things. Might as well... Uh, just kill them, so that we don't have to later. I uh, probably want a couple guys on passive, so it's like a one at a time type dealio. I see Mr. Torb successfully pick the lock. Uh, Kang can get in there too, why not? Oh, Cat's taking pot shots from up top. That's pretty cool. So we got another ancient science book. I'm just going to send Mr. Torb on passive. I can, you can just pick these locks now, as well. Meow can, uh, guess grab this loot, and grab this loot. She'll be the beak thing slayer. The finisher offer of him, anyways. Alright, in this one we've got another ancient science book. And a power core worth 3,000. And robotics components worth 3,000 as well. Pretty good. Don't think money is like a super duper concern for us right now, but even still. How much is the generator core worth? Definitely not worth it. Okay. And then I think that's pretty much everything. I'm just double checking. Looks like a pretty much golden. Pretty sure I got all the tiny boxes in all these little areas. Now the real question is, is there even more workshop little places? Let's see, there's this one, but it's empty. I'm going to assume that this is the one and done. Because it's so loaded. So we've got four ancient science books. Everyone should be in pretty much perfect condition. Pretty sure there's shit up here too. So I'm going to, I might as well just, uh scope it out. I mean, it's a giant crater hole thingy, right? Or just like a flat thing. I don't know, it looks kind of like, like a nuke went off in the center or something. Wait, discovered ruin. Alright. Poggers. The crater. Okay. It is in fact a crater. Hold up. Uh, shit's getting fucked. Uh, we need... Alright, Mr. Torp can fight this guy. Kane can, uh, fight this guy. Probably took some bad damage there. Oh, I'll be what it be. I'll have, a uh, Meow continue to just kill these guys. Just load up the old inventory with meat. 
Oh wow, that really sucks. Yeah, I just got friggin' blasted in the single tiny gap in the, the arm armor. Okay, is there any big things that are not dead? Let's see, dead, dead, unconscious. Okay, you're about to get harvested. Welcome to harvest season. And they've been... They've been harvested. Everyone's looking pretty good. Even still. We can probably get to the ruin without, uh... Too much trouble. I'll kill every beak thing in this entire fucking crater if I have to. Yeah, it's pretty much cleanest when you have, like, the 1v1 going on with the big things, I will say. Also, Soto continues to just do, like, ridiculous- Did she just miss the fucking thing? <laughs> Wait, excuse me? Okay, now, here we go. Okay, the vertical chop seems to do pretty good damage. There we go. Soto might as well loot up some stuff. Soto definitely has, like, the fucking <laughs> weirdest backpack ever. This fills with first aid kits of varying sizes. Truly medic of all time. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's one of those uh, netty ones. Great. Uh, I know we can send Griffin and uh, why not Mr. Torb? Fight these guys. Oh, and uh, Ruka can fight this one. Nice block on Griffin's part. This will allow him to build up his uh, strength and skills. Okay, and his toughness. So let's see. He's getting 3% dex every time he swings this thing. Very awesome. That means, uh, given enough time, given like 100 attacks, he'll have uh, like 3 levels up. Exciting stuff. Dude, buying the bolts so that cat can just do some damage to these guys. It's like the best decision ever. Oh, he's getting some attack of XP as well. Like 4% per swing. Oh yeah, the ruin's right here. Uh, it kind of gives me like a sinister vibe. Excuse me? Okay, I mean, friggin' staying... Outside here, though, it's just leading more and more beak things stacking us. I mean, definitely no matter what, we should probably just, uh, get up here. I think I want to send Cat to take a peek. A peeky peek. A sneaky peek. Oh, looks like there's a wall or something up there. Okay, that's perfect. Then these guys can go over here. Okay, this entrance is usable. Alright, so we've got robot spiders of a variety of types over here. They apparently have 58 damage. I think, uh, who's got the robot stuff? Meow. Meow might as well try taking on one of them right now. Cat can just <laughs> sneak back. Okay, this thing did a hundred damage. Dude, it's fucking... It's fucking Meow up. Incredibly. It's only got 120 HP, though. It's a good thing the fucking head armor has 100% coverage. Dude! It's going buck wild on her! Oh great, Meow is stuck now. Uh, this is turning out terribly. We're literally gonna... Gonna have horrible things happen. Alright, Skeleton Muscle. Cool. Can someone pick up Meow? So it just stops being fucking stuck in the Shadow Realm. Okay, I think the key is actually to gang up on these guys. Just because they're so fucking horrible. Oh my god, dude. 
Fuck these things, man. Okay. What do you mean, out of training range? There we go. That was just two spiders. How many spiders are in here? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's not too, too bad. Who's got the stuff? Ruka does. Can she put camp beds out here? No. That sucks. Can she put them in here? Yes. Alright, well then that's going to be the strategy. We build some camp beds. And then we just have like squads go in. And fight these creatures. I hope that I can dismantle these once the time comes. Alright, who else is really fucked? It looks like Soto is really fucked. Cat and Griffin are, uh... Biting a beak thing. That's kind of obnoxious, but it's whatever. Let's see, Cat still has like 60% of the ammo he started with. This is just good training for Griffin. Oh, nice shot. Magnificent. These motherfuckers need to go into the hiding spot. Alright, I think Cat, Kang, and Hotlong should be able to take on this other robot, right? Cat can initiate combat by taking a pot shot at it. Hotlongs and Kang will be uh, tasked with uh, destroying it. Keeping it uh, busy. Oh, cat just shoots it. Hot longs is really keeping it busy. There we go. Lovely. That means this whole bottom area is just cleared out now. It does mean, however, also that hot longs is completely turbo fucked, HP ones. Is there anyone who's not fucked? Looks like Mr. Torb is healthy. Hotlongs can go. Dude, this is Hotlongs with a with a full coverage super helmet. Well, I guess we'll just be here for a while. I guess we can have Kang, Mr. Torb, and Cat try to fight the guy up here. I want to save looting this place until uh, after... All the spiders have been dealt with. So I feel like... I don't know. Be a... Be nice. Right. Sort of just do it piecemeal. Dude, I can't believe this little fucker got a... Smack on... Cat. Wow, he really rocks that guy's world. Pretty awesome. Alright, we're mostly okay. I mean, Kang probably could use a little bit of rest. Is there anyone who can tag in? Yeah, it looks like Hot Longs. Hot Longs is a little bit. No, Hot Longs' head's fucked. Ruka. Yeah, Ruka's pretty good. Kang can heal the old Lagarino. Cat. Cat is hurt, uh, which does suck, but. Cat does have a bow, which means he kind of uh, is a necessary component to our strategy here. Let's see, is there any spiders? Yeah, okay. I guess I'll have Cat walk on up. I mean, theoretically speaking, oh no, more than one spider has come. Well, whatever. Oh, they're coming down, too. Uh, is anyone not super fucked? Yeah, Griffin. Griffin sucks, though. Hot longs can come up. We might as well fight this right now. Oh, yeah. Especially with the, like, AoE and stuff. Griffin must be so happy. 
Like, we've just been, like, smashing the shit out of a holy nation since he got recruited. And now here we are, fighting skeletons. Well, robots. That's close enough to a skeleton. There's just one more of these friggin' guys remaining. Yeah, and it's coming on down. Might as well just try to kite it with cat a little bit. Oh, it almost got a cat's leg there. Alright, come on, bro. Come on down. Down to Hades Town. Yeah, just eat. <laughs> just eat, Griffin. Ruka, you might as well help out here. Does this place count as outside? Oh, what are my dudes doing? I guess they're all moving up because... Oh, uh, someone was injured and they're on passive? Alright, there we go. That's everyone, right? I think that's all the spiders. Yeah. Alright, we'll go strictly like top to down. Top to bottom. This looks like the treasure room, like the actual treasure room here. So, here will be the area of loot first. Uh, I hope I can... Oh yeah, we can we can pick the locks here. Great. So electrical component, it gives a shit. First aid kit, sure. Do not care about these. Wow, Mr. Torb just picked it in a single go. Uh, let's see, what's your chances? 57? Okay, that's still good training. Oh, and this one's got a 0% chance. Fuck. We could maybe use tools or something. I guess I'll have cat loot this place. So we've got some power cores. Six of the motherfuckers. Robotics components. I'm just going to drop the shitty first aid kits because I really don't care about them. Ancient science book. Skeleton repair kit. And then there's about 10 bajillion generator cores, which they're definitely good for weight training, <laughs> if nothing else. God, they're so heavy. I don't know if I necessarily want to weight train all the way back. I feel like that'd be a bad idea. It's an advanced splint kit. I don't think we really need that either, though. Alright, there's another advanced first aid kit. Don't mind if I do... Another one, sure. Three ancient science books, and they're not even in a wash container. Uh, Mr. Torb might as well pick this lock. Awesome. Wait, in that lock chest was just garbage. Sweet. You know, I kind of feel like I should get another splint kit. Why not? Alright, please tell me. Okay, cat. Why can I not use tools? Cat, you have tools. I gave you tools. There we go. I got a tip from the comments that you can use uh, from LNL, I believe. Well, it's been a while. This was back in the uh, old swamp episode. That uh, you can use strength to force the lock. Uh, once it's cut enough. Because the, like, DC or whatever to, uh, break the lock with strength is actually based on that. So that's maybe something we could try out. Pretty dope. No, while Cat's doing that, I might as well just, uh, you know, go nuts. For donuts, right? What, this ancient science book is stolen? How do I have a stolen ancient science book? It must have been stolen from the black dragon dudes. Yeah, we can just do laps up and down. We're getting 24 XP. We'll get double XP if we pick up one of these corpses, though. And now we're getting the full 50 XP. 
And that'll be how we spend our time. Uh, Ruka probably could heal. Cat's cutting. Griffin definitely needs to heal. Hot Longs. It's doing okay. I guess Hot Longs can take Meow's place. Alright. It's down to 100. Mr. Torb. Fuck this lockup. Can I pick it now? Shackles broken. It has been broken. With sheer muscle. Obviously, a CPU units, good. Ancient science books, also good. Repair kits, also good. I'm just gonna store the, the power cores in the, in the safe. Because they're too heavy. How much XP am I getting with this much? 17%? It's barely worth anything. Okay. So I think we checked all the containers here on the top floor. I'm just double checking. I mean, there's still like a shitload of like advanced splint kits and shit we could probably yoinkify. But other than that, oh, there's some armor plate as well. Maybe Cat could hold on to them. Oh, he doesn't have the inventory space. We kind of make our own armor plates. I mean, actually, they're worth 500 piece. That would save us a lot of effort. They weigh 5 kilograms piece, though. We can, bar we can barely hold the shit we've got on our backs. Okay, so that's all good. And what's this? Generator. Okay, it has fuel, but it seems to just be forever going. Don't think there's any more containers up here. These, like, giant boxes are just, like, for show boxes. Now I've got a research bench at ores. And some shit back here. Let's see, electrical thing. Research bench, loot. I wonder if I could... I can research here? Wait, does that mean I could, um... Does that mean I could, like... Actually, actually use it? Let's see, like, if I, uh, smithing, advanced weapon grades 2, it needs two ancient science books. It would give me Katoon 3. If I put the science books in here... No. Damn. Haha, <laughs> that was worth a shot. You never know. It'd be so badass if you could. Why can't I even use this thing? Well, whatever. Uh, these crates don't do anything. Robotics bench, empty. Workbench, empty. No electricals container. Okay. Oh, steel bars. That's not too terrible. There's so many of them, too. But again, they're extremely heavy and don't provide that much value. Looks like floor two is just a dud. I mean, I'm not expecting too much more because, you know, we kind of looted the uh, important parts first. And uh, I think this place is mostly empty. Oh, there's a uh, there's some boxes here. Cause it's got medical supplies worth almost nothing. Okay, cool. In that case, we just need to heal up a little bit more. And then we're kind of just like set. You should have plenty of inventory space. I feel like we could go for another one of these ancient labs. I remember from back in the ye old days long ago that there's like three of them or something. At worst case scenario, if we don't find any of them, we could go for these ruins down here. We're already up to... Let's see, 1, 2, 10, 15 ancient science books. So, we're doing pretty good. We're going to need 2 for uh, our next thing. And then 8 for bench 5. We could get robotics to make skeleton repair kits. I remember it being like a giant pain in the ass to do anything though. 
Skeleton repair beds we could finally do. That'd be pretty awesome. I um, like flower grinding would be pretty cool. We apparently need to get some normal books as well, just for some of this, these training dummy things. Okay, they can be dismantled. I think Aruko is the bearer of the sleeping bags. So she can just pick them all back up. So we're off.